if you've clicked on this video and found this message, I'm guessing it's for you. If you don't like what I'm saying, please click off because this is not for everybody and that is okay. I connect to Source. You might want to refer to that as God, the Divine Grid Programmer. I am not a channeler. I don't channel beings. I connect and speak with them, but I'm never channeling anything. When I connected today, I wanted to ask what to share, what needs to be shared with the collective today. And this is what I received. I made notes. It's like automatic writing when I receive the messages. So I was told that there is, we may see chaos and I was shown an image of fire and what looked like war. Please don't be scared. I'm not scaremongering, but I want you to know that it's all a distraction and a facade and that the fighting, the fire, the negativity is just a distraction. Also around space and the universe, they said that, is, that space is not what we think it is. Again, a lot of that that we are told um, by the N-word is a distraction, an illusion, and simply not true. What they were saying is that with the fear and the, the, the fire I was seeing, they were saying those that want to buy into this mindset of, of the fear, watching the news, listening to what they're being told rather than questioning everything and taking it as given, they will remain in the 4D consciousness. And I think this has probably got to do with the split that many of you will have heard of. I genuinely think that's what it is referring to. And if you're watching this and thinking, oh my gosh, what is she talking about? Please don't be scared. If you have been um, programmed, which we all have, but a lot of people that are stuck in the programs, really deeply hypnotized, they can't break out of it because they're so heavily under that unless they were to watch maybe something like this, or somebody was to sit down and have a chat with them, they would have no idea what's actually going on. My heart goes out to those people. And then there are the ones that could be told and would completely disregard it as absolute, absolute, absolute wackadoodleness. <laughs> and that's okay. They really are not supposed to come yet. And that's all right. They'll ascend eventually. In essence, we have a choice to turn away from all the terror that we see, the images on the news, in the media, all the manipulation, which I'm sure if you're into spirituality, you'll all know this anyway, but it's all created on purpose to fit their narrative. It's what keeps us locked into fear. That's how we are able to be manipulated, coerced. Think about the, what's happened recently. We were coerced into putting something into our bodies that a lot of people didn't want to do whatsoever but they the all of the speech and the language they used was so terrifying and so coercive that people ended up going against their free will sorry their intuition to do it because they felt so pressured and pushed into a corner when probably deep down they knew that they they didn't want to have it so again Anything that keeps us locked in that level of fear is able to manipulate and control us. What really exists, oh, before I go into that, also it's exactly the same with all social media. So if you think about things like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, especially Instagram with all the liking of everything and Facebook, likes, 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 that's constant validation. Now, what came through is that that was another way of really conditioning everybody into really requiring external validation because us as a society for a long, long time, we've always had to look to, since we, we came out of the womb, we've been manipulated into believing that schools have our best interests at heart. We look to the government and the authorities for protection and for information on how to live our lives and if we're not quite sure what to do what do we do we'll turn on the news oh yeah we'll see what they say because that's right that is the given truth given god's truth if the doctor's saying it then it must be right you see we've been brainwashed so terribly they know that so again that that all forms part of the narrative 
social media is huge that's why you know it destroys people's confidence and then they seek this validation of the likes and the attention it's all designed like that so just going back yeah so what really exists is pure bliss so it's like this beautiful magical world of energy it's almost like a dream now for those of you out there that have maybe done things like and i'm not in any way saying that this is what you should be doing i don't do it but there are many people that do things like plant medicines and micro dosing and things like that i can access these realities without that so i don't need to do it again i'm not saying for or against each to their own when you can take yourself into these different states dimensions the veil is lifted and, and you can access that you can see what this truly is i did another video on the matrix i was shown the matrix so i'm fully aware of, of what this is it's a complete simulation and what really exists is pure bliss joy harmony love um, beyond our wildest dreams and as an energy worker and healer oftentimes when i'm working on people i can see the colours of the aura, the etheric energy field of the body, the angelic energy fields as well, which are just stunning. And I've been visited by an angel and it was out of this world. All I can describe it to is feeling like pure heaven, bliss, heaven on earth, like no cares whatsoever, just pure love. And that is what is, is there for us and what is accessible to us and that is what we are shifting to now the consciousness of the planet is shifting to 5d and beyond and it's beautiful sorry i'm just oh, i can feel like shivers anyway let me just try and remember so i don't forget so what i want to say is guys it's like every day see every day is a waking miracle you know when you were little and you would see like in the morning you would see like the morning dew on the grass on the leaves and you were amazed like oh my gosh how does nature do that or the leaves turning color and, and falling off and it's just incredible like how does nature know to do this so it's that wonderment i mean i saw the moon in the sky the other day and it was just literally like it was just hanging there and it's like this is an incredible place so just enjoy and connect and when you really start appreciating the earth and looking at what is our reality currently and take time to connect to it and appreciate it it's a very special place to be in it'll connect you it'll ground you and it will heal you it's important that you listen to the calling and knowing that is internal to you because we've been conditioned to look to outer sources we really aren't used to listening to ourselves again that was done on purpose we don't listen to our own intuition because we don't trust ourselves this is another massive issue and we deserve they've done it on purpose so that we don't trust ourselves because then we have no power i keep repeating myself but it's true so the more you listen to your intuition and your inner knowing the stronger it will get take baby steps so you know when you have that gut feeling they call it gut feeling and it's an inner knowing because your stomach is a second brain it'll always tell you when something's not right so if something feels off chances are they are off listen to the first thought or the first feeling you've always you've all probably had that situation where you've kicked yourself because you thought oh, i knew i shouldn't have done that or i knew that person didn't have my best interests at heart and i you know so that's an example be aware um i really want to, i can't state this enough because i've seen a certain youtuber the other day but it's not just him but he's got a really big following in the field of like spirituality and um raising the frequencies he likes to say and all this and he really upset me that he was basically it was a, around um kanye west and he was basically saying that kanye shouldn't be taking on people like the secret societies that he sold his soul to essentially he shouldn't take them on because that's stupid of him and that he should just be in a state of pure bliss and not basically get entangled in that and that isn't in my opinion right you have to to a certain extent you, you stay in your lane of positivity but we also have a duty those of us that know 
to share information with those of them that are blinkered and blindfolded because some of them will will realize you know it is a load of rubbish and there's a lot of truth in what certain people are revealing at this time and it could catalyze their awakening and their shift in consciousness to evolve and essentially you know if they, if there is this split go to the highest states of consciousness so you I don't agree with that. And that actually really upset me. I won't follow that man anymore because he clearly has an agenda. I was going to say, be aware of anybody that encourages you not to question everything. Because that is a major thing. You are not a sheep. You are allowed to question things. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Be, be aware of anybody that encourages you not to question the narrative. It's also... You know, normally that's a big indicator of somebody that's probably also batting for the wrong team. Let's put it like that. I'm not holding back either in this video because I'm sick of playing small and not hurting people's feelings. You're either ready for the message or you're not. And if you don't like what I'm saying, respectfully switch off because some people will. So trust your inner voice, knowing if something doesn't feel right. You are a soul of infinite power. And that is why you've been suppressed, because you are so powerful, like you have absolutely no clue, because you've been suppressed to basically be fed off. So your beautiful, powerful energy, if you're in the lowest states of negativity, the, the lesser entities and the people that have been running the show can feed off the fear. And that's what they wanted, because if we were all walking around highly evolved and awakened, the world wouldn't be like this. We wouldn't have governments, we wouldn't have war, we wouldn't have all these things, you know, that people try to warn us about. John Lennon being a massive person that tried to warn us about that. Martin Luther King, I could go on and on, but you see what I mean. You are a soul of infinite power, that is why they needed to suppress you, to feed from that energy, to stop you and us and the whole collective ascending, which stopped the planet also ascending so that they could survive and their narrative and their Lucifer luciferian satanic doctrines and narratives could survive let's end this by saying connect truly to your soul and for those of you well seasoned people that know how to do this good for you but for those that would like some more information what came through here was to sit in silence the power really is in the silence it's like um a rare commodity silence it's like a precious jewel because we are bombarded with noise constantly from our devices from the wi-fi frequencies traffic street lights all these things all this noise constantly silence is golden silence is golden so with that being said, sit in the silence, breathe, feel the breath in your lungs, hear your breathing, hear the breath coming in and out, touch your heart and tell yourself, I love you, I love you. Congratulate yourself for everything, for everything that you've achieved. You are truly amazing. And then imagine I do this all the time, a bright white light within you glowing like a star, like however you imagine that bright white light, the purest bright white light is of the highest angelic healing frequency, it's of the highest frequency of God and just see this light shining and just thank God for your blessings, see yourself as this beacon of light. And that isn't a complex thing to do, guys. I don't want to make it complicated. I want everyone to feel that it's easy. There's no mysticism. There's no, when I say mysticism, there's no like secret voodoo-y, like magical woo-woo behind being spiritual. It's simple. People that try and mystify it and make it feel like it's for some and not everyone else and I'm better than you because I'm more spiritual. That's nonsense. Stay away from people like that. True spiritual teachers will embrace you, whatever your level of consciousness, they will never laugh at you and they will always try and make you feel welcome 
and loved helping and healing you. There's no hierarchy, but people are on different levels in their journey because th that's a lot to do with their reincarnation, their soul evolution. There's many things that contribute to that. So as long as we're all aware of that, that's, that's great. And we respect that, but we're always kind and loving and helpful to people that maybe don't have that experience. That's what I'm saying. With that being said, I've, I, this was really off the cuff and I just felt called to make this. So I hope you enjoyed it. And check out my channel, like the video. You might like some of my other content. I'm sending you a lot of love, you beautiful little beings.